Mosquitoes in the Philippines, something to be aware of. Um, there's a, a few reasons I want to talk about this. The, the, first one, the first important one is, don't believe statistics. There is still malaria, there's still dengue, um, there's still a potential risk there. Now, the odds on getting malaria in Cebu is pretty slim, but the chance of getting dengue, you've got an odd chance that may happen, especially if we go out to the provinces. I had dengue myself. Um, so, bear in mind, malaria tablets do not prevent dengue. Um, but, it, I mean, dengue mainly goes for the young and the old. So, I was quite young being in the middle. <laughs> but it can be fatal. Um, so, just be aware that mosquitoes are everywhere. And it's part of a problem in the society of throwing everything in the river. You end up with this mound of plastic bags and all this beautiful um, stagnant water and stuff left in old tires and stuff where mosquitoes love to breed. And it's only certain types of mosquitoes that actually carry malaria and dengue anyway. It, the ones you want to watch for are the ones with the striped legs. Not that I'm saying wander around with a magnifying glass going, oh, that one's okay. He, just be aware there's certain times of day they come out and you're generally better off screening the property. If you're going to rent a place, get the window screened before you take the rent. They'll screen them for you. I mean, what they'll do is they'll make this um, like a mesh with a wooden frame and they'll just knock it against the wall. I mean, they don't seem so cosmetically worried in the Philippines compared to other places where they might say get stuffed. Um, they will stick it on the, the windows for you because they ain't going to get any rent unless you, they do do it for you. Um, so make sure wherever you're renting screened off. It, it, it's just so much less headache later. Um, the photo you see in the corner is actually my legs after a, a game of airsoft out in the jungle areas. <laughs> Um, that was one leg and they were both exactly the same itching like mad I'd done the same in Spain though uh, I mean the mosquitoes here seem worse I mean they you, they draw some serious blood here <laughs> the ones in the Philippines seem about tiny in comparison um, but yeah be aware there's a lot of mosquitoes there and it's not something you're normally going to be aware of even in traffic and stuff the mosquitoes are everywhere um one of the best things to do is actually put lotion on. Um, I'll see if I can grab a picture of the lotion. If I can, it's going to be here. If I can't, it won't. But just put this on. I mean, if you tell your partner about it, they'll be making sure you wear it. They'll treat you like a kid. They'll be putting on your legs and arms to make sure when you go out, you've got it on. I generally don't like it because it, I'm not one for... Uh, what do you call it, creams and stuff because it blocks the skin pores but hey ho, you may not have a choice in it um, the other thing is, if you do get bitten this stuff's really good, you may not be aware of this, um, I first come across it when I lived in Hong Kong in the 80s it's called Tiger Balm um, it's it's supposed to be a muscle relaxant etc you know, like if you've got stiff muscles, stiff back etc, but if you put it over the mosquito bites, it, it sort of numbs it a bit, um, which works really well especially if you've got legs like the picture earlier, where I've been bitten about 40-50 times, where you just rub it on there and leave it overnight but yeah mosquitoes are something you have to get used to, there's no way of getting avoiding it and the other thing I will say is malaria tablets Unless you go in deep jungle, I wouldn't bother with them. You're better off with just putting uh, mosquito lotion on. Um, I think cologne attracts them, I think, because the funny thing with mosquitoes, they're attracted with things like your breath and things. It's not, um, it's not as straightforward as people assume, you know. It's the heat off your breath, I think, that attracts them is one of the things that do it. So obviously the sweat through the skin is probably another um, so be aware it's not as straightforward as, uh, I don't know, assuming that they're just looking for, looking for you. They're, they're attracted by other things your body's giving off, um, which is why you've got to be careful. It's normally during the night you'll get bitten like crazy. That's why you screen the house off. Screen it off, spray it all, go out, come back, and everything's dead by the time you come back and the uh, vapor's already gone. All right, thanks for watching. Yeah.